police tell us that this man is recovering, thankfully, from his injuries. And now they're trying to piece together what led up to the shooting and crash. It's a lot of accidents on this road, so that's not unusual. Folks in the Guilford and Ken Lucy area say a shooting is out of the ordinary here. Police believe it happened near York Road and Homeland Avenue, three minutes north from where the victim was found in a crash along Green Mount. I stepped out once I heard the accident because they started blocking traffic right here. The accident happened in the middle of rush hour Tuesday evening. Around 5.30, police arrived to find three vehicles involved. They soon discovered a 76-year-old man in his vehicle suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. It's not good, you know, especially somebody that age, but it's not good for nobody. Police now connecting the dots between the two incidents. It's definitely not a dangerous neighborhood. Like, I've lived here for the past five to six years, so I, it what hasn't been like a lot of gun violence that I have known about. Um, so this is actually very brand new to me that of even hearing it. So I would say that I am definitely shocked. Hippie Hooks lives near the crime scene. As authorities figure out what led up to the shooting, she's calling on her neighbors to speak up if they know anything. If you see something, don't be afraid to share the things that you saw. Like the only way that we can protect our families and one another if we be honest and open about the things that we have witnessed. The shooting happened near a safe street center. Those with the conflict mediating group tell 11 news they're aware of the shooting and quote later this week per safe streets protocol. The Woodburn McCabe site will host a shooting response to spread the program's anti violence message, help prevent any potential retaliation connected to this incident and show up in support for their community. We're told tonight the victim is in stable condition. Live downtown, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.